subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon, to never miss a video from us. Hi everyone, welcome to Test Prep Training. In this video you will learn about some commonly asked questions in Salesforce Certified Marketing Cloud Consultant. So let's get started. Question number 1. A bank wants to send out a series of emails to new customers that open a checking or savings account. The emails will be used to educate and inform customers regarding their current account and other bank offerings. 1. Data for the campaign will be in two data extensions, customer and new accounts. 2. The customer data extension is currently used for multiple campaigns and is updated at 1 a.m. 3. The new account's data is encrypted and will be placed on the SFTP at 10 p.m. Which automated workflow meets the customer's requirements? Your options are The correct answer is, option C. Question number 2. During discovery, the customer outlines data requirements and the anticipated use of marketing cloud with the following criteria. 1. Customer data will be fully refreshed every night via import file activity from the customer's data warehouse. 2. Contact records will be augmented by relational data tables via Contact Builder. 3. Customer ID will be used as the unique identifier for each contact. Which statement differentiates the use of data extensions over lists? Your options are A. Data extensions are necessary for Contact Builder. B. Data extensions allow for add or update import file activity. C. Data extensions can store HTML code as an attribute. D. Data extensions support customer ID to be used as subscriber key. The correct answer is, option A. Question number 3. A customer wants sales cloud users to create and send marketing cloud emails. Which two recommendations should the consultant make? Choose two. Your options are A. The consultant should enable deep linking and marketing cloud connect configuration. B. Each user should have a one-to-one -one relationship between the marketing cloud user and the sales cloud user. C. Each sales cloud user should have a system administrator profile, and a role at the top of the role hierarchy. D. The consultant should enable the create email feature on the user profile in sales cloud. The correct answers are, option A, and B. Question number 4, why would a contact fail to enter a journey builder interaction? Choose 3. Your options are A. The interaction has the following split, and the contact does not meet the criteria. B. The interaction allows re-entry only after exiting, and the contact already exists. C. The contact falls below the high water mark. D. The contact did not meet the entry criteria. E. The entry event was not fired via Automation Studio. The correct answers are, option B, C, and D. Question number 5, a customer is collecting data from a smart capture form that stores submissions in a data extension. The customer wants an email was sent to the marketing manager each morning, that contains the previous day's submissions as a CSV attachment. Assuming that the customer has the attachments feature enabled, which automation workflow will accomplish this? Your options are The correct answer is, option C. Question number 6, ABC company has to import a file that will be different every time. What method should be used? Your options are A. Add only B. Update only C. Overwrite D. Add or update The correct answer is, option C. Question number 7 ABC company wants to import files at certain standard times, but occasionally a file will be dropped on a Friday if the 30th of the month falls on a weekend. What is the flow? Your options are A. A user-initiated message to send an email to customers who made a purchase daily. B. Triggered import, user-initiated send, not scheduled. C. A scheduled automation to send emails to customers who made a purchase daily. The correct answer is, option B. You can refer the following for the explanation of the answer. Question number 8. Northern Trail Outfitters experienced a 24-hour website outage beginning on a peak shopping day. As a result, a number of logged-in customers' shopping sessions were disrupted. When the site is back online, the retailer would like to encourage those shoppers to return the site and continue their shopping. What action should Northern Trail Outfitters take? 
Your options are A. Create and send an apology email which includes a discount for a future purchase to all customers. B. Do not send an email, as outage may have increased negative sentiment, resulting in unsubscribes. C. Import a file of logged in customers into the following existing abandoned car journey and journey builder. D. Create a user initiated message to logged in customers to send once the website is restored. The correct answer is option C. Question number 9 A user in Marketing Cloud needs to send an email to a Salesforce report via SendFlow process. How should the consultant meet this requirement? Your options are A. Assign the integrated user the Marketing Cloud for App Exchange user permission in Sales Cloud. B. Create data validation rules for the integrated user in Sales Cloud. C. Create a Salesforce data extension for the user to select during a SendFlow. D. Add custom Visual Force page to the page layouts in Marketing Cloud. The correct answer is, Option C. Question number 10. Northern Trail Outfitters is concerned with their sender reputation and needs consistent visibility into subscribers who report their email as spam. How should they determine which subscribers reported their email as spam so they can flag those records in their customer service database? Your options are a. An automation that queries the complaint data view. B. An automation that queries the unsubscribe data view. C. An automation that generates the spam complaints over time report. D. An automation that generates the unsubscribe event extract. The correct answer is, option A. For more such videos, subscribe to our channel.